started the 2013 season 5-0. They were ranked in the first six weeks, and four of their six losses were by a combined 11 points. So why is there panic in Ann Arbor? We've got answers as to why the Wolverines are heading into the 2014 season underestimated. Hey everyone, Shay Pepler here inside our Campus Insider Studios. And to discuss why the Wolverines are being underestimated, let's welcome in Joshua Henske, editor for Mason Brew. And Joshua, let's start with the offense. You bring in former Alabama offensive coordinator Doug Nussmeyer. How much does his addition change the way the offense operates now? Well, I mean, it, it just makes the off offense more simpler. You know, it's it's with the blocking schemes, the offensive line. It helps considering the offensive line had an incredible down year uh, in the interior last year. Um, you know, with a more powerful running game, it, it helps the offensive line, especially that needs to gel this season. And also, you know, he being a left-handed quarterback himself in college, you know, it, it helps uh, with the quarterbacks that they have now. Uh, Michigan has had a problem with, I guess, fans wanting you know a quarterback coach so he's the perfect guy that fits the mold you know it was it, so far it's a great hire and and we'll see this year if that actually holds to be true well meanwhile on the other side of the ball the defense returns several starters and gets that added boost from five star Jabril Peppers how can this unit improve Joshua well the defensive backs are incredibly exciting you know they've got you know some great youth um, you know, obviously Jabril Peppers, you know, he could be the real deal his first year. Uh, he's got a very good chance of starting and then participating a lot during the you know, first half of the season. So it, it's, it's really exciting there. Um, the linebackers, you know, you've got Jake Ryan switching over to the middle. Uh, I think he's going to really excel there and uh, really, you know, do well. Um, I think that's a more natural progression for him. So it, the defense is returning a lot of a lot of starters, but also some good youth and good talented youth. So hopefully that gets put to good use this year. Well, as far as scheduling goes, the Wolverines get Appalachian State, Miami of Ohio, Utah, and Minnesota all at home in that first month of the season. How can this help Coach Hoke's case? Well, I think, you know, you got to win those games. Um, I think Michigan stacks up very well against those low-level talents, especially in the Big Ten. Um, I'm hoping there's not an, a repeat upset of Appalachian State this year. But, you know, the, the home slate sets up well for Michigan. Um, the away slate's kind of different. You know, you've got, you have to go travel to Notre Dame, you have to go to East Lansing, you have to go to Columbus. So that might uh, set up a little bit of difficulties. But the home slate certainly, you know, sets them on the right track to get some, uh, to get some wins early in the season. All right, about 10 weeks until college football kicks off. Countdown is on. Joshua Henschke, editor for Mason Brew. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you very much. And be sure to keep it locked on Campus Insiders for Pete Butek's prognosis on the Auburn Tigers. What will it take for Gus Malzahn's squad to make it to the college football playoff? Find out only on CampusInsiders.com.